on me. Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie. Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me. I've been working for a change like it's cash only. I'm a certified guy, check the tag on me. Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie. Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me. Single parent homes got drugs in our community. And who gave us that? Like now that's the culture now. Like twerking, drugs, and killing each other is the culture, right? But who gave us that? I've been captured in soul, carry on. Who gave us our culture today? We don't want to answer that, but it's as simple as the white man. Right. He gave us right. our culture. He put us out there in the movies as thugs and gangbangers and, and thoughts and hoes and Busted downs and all these things, right? And we accept it. He put in the music, he put in the movies, and we live it out. Right? Right in real time. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Give me the heritage in Sirach 20. Yes, sir. Right? So it said that thou, meaning the Israelites, would discontinue from their heritage, meaning it would cease. It would end. You would utterly forget what your former language was. Right. What your names were. Like, what's your last name? Northley. I'm sorry? Northley. Dorothy, what's your last name? Right. Where do you get those names from? My dad. Where do you get it from? Right. His dad. You go back far enough, the answer is some white man on the plantation who branded it in all your ancestors' body. Jeez. That's where you get your name from. Because that's Jeez. not what we was calling ourselves when we came over here. Actually, that's not my last name. That's not my name. But in either case, it comes from... In, in, in either case, well, your father is one of these, right? So that's who your father... You descend from your father. Get that real quick. Get that real quick. You descend from your father because the father bears what? Your race. Right, your race or your... You'll see, right? A man, when he takes a woman in the right way and marries her, he impregnates her with his seed. So that baby came out of the father. So you are with your, your DNA or your genetic makeup comes from your father, right? Read that. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their fathers. Right, they declared their race by the house of their fathers. They go back to the heritage, right? So they say we discontinue from our heritage, meaning we forgot. We forgot our language. We forgot our heritage. We forgot who we descend from. We forgot what land we come from. Most of us will say we come from Africa, but there's like over 90 countries in Africa. Which country do you come from? Are you from Djibouti? Are you from the Gold Coast? Are you from Somalia? Are you from uh, okay. Egypt? Are you from Ethiopia? Are you from... Where are you from? Are you from South Africa? From there, they just us just Africa. Right. right, right. They labeled you that. They told you you came from Africa, and that's it. Now you're okay calling yourselves Africans, but we not those people, right? So we discontinue from our heritage. Read. Sarah, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Right. This Bible is the covenant of the Most High God. Read. Even the law. Even what? Even the law. Like the brother was going over. Women shouldn't be wearing pants. A man, notice all these men got beards on their face. Right? Because God has a beard. God said that a man should grow a beard. It just, it grows. Right? If it wasn't meant to grow, God wouldn't have it grow out of your face. But now we have a heritage where men would rather have a baby smooth face like a woman. Or like a child. Because guess who told him to be that way? The white man told him to be that way. And called him a boy after he shaved all his facial hair off. Right? Read. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. For what? For inheritance. This Bible is your heritage. Right. The reason we don't know it is because the same people that told us to uh, God loves everybody, all people can be saved, Jesus looked like me, the Jews looked like me, also taught you this Bible. And none of the things that he taught you are true. No different than that image of Christ. It's not a true image of Christ. The Bible says he looks like that. Right? right? So what came with this is also the doctrine that came with this Bible. Now I'm gonna show you why it's important. Give me uh, Leviticus, nah, give me Leviticus 26, verse 17. Watch this. The people that, that did this to you, the Bible calls them your enemies. You believe that? I know most of our people don't like, like to believe that, right? But let me ask you this. How did our people come, our people came here like this, right? Our people worked for 200, 300 years, free of charge, to build all of these things up, right? 
And today, have our people reaped the benefit of it? No. So, let me ask you this. When in history has the bad guy ever stopped being the bad guy? Like, just had a change of heart. You know what? No. I don't want to be the bad guy no more. When has, when is the soul, the same person that did this, when did he give us our reparations? Or when did he give us for our labors? Or when did he give, he stole the land. When did he give it back? He did it. But today our people think that those same people that legislate laws, that pass laws, that have you living in the ghettos of America, have you on Section 8? Have you eaten out of, uh, they have Walgreens, and uh, not Walgreens, what do they, they got farm, what's some things they got? They, can, they got Whole Foods, Harris Teeter, they don't, they don't have farm fresh in the community. Right. Right, right. Farm fresh says y'all got bad food in your neighborhood. That's what that means. That's that's not good food. That's that's the refuse. Huh? huh? Right, right. It's bad food. They don't take that food to the white neighborhoods. They bring that right here, McDonald's and stuff. That got all the bad stuff in your neighborhood. You don't got a farm fresh. Not farm fresh. That's it is farm fresh, right? You don't got a Harris Teeter. You don't got a uh, Kroger and Whole Foods in your neighborhood. Then you go to the white neighborhood. They got everything. They got all of that stuff because y'all niggas and kill them. And we eat good over here. That's what the Bible says. Read what you got. Now I'm going to show you in the Bible why this is important that you understand who your enemy is. Because we forgot. And this is why today we continue to be oppressed. And laws get passed that oppress us. And we vote for more people to try to save us that look like the oppressor. And nothing changes. Because we got we, the Bible tells you what the problem is. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 17. This was a product of our sin. Read. And I will set my face against you. God set his face against his children. Just like you got a, you got children? Right, when your children do something bad, are you against them at that moment? You love them, but if you got a whoop they tell, are you, are y'all friendly or are y'all against each other? Right, y'all not friendly. God's not friendly with his children right now. Right. He is against his children because his children disobey. Just like when your children disobey, you are against them. It's, it's not gonna be forever. You gonna forgive them and you gonna love them again. But, but at the moment, you need to whoop their behind. This is a spiritual behind whooping from God to his children. Jeez. That's why we live like this. This is our tough love. This, this is our tough love. Right. But the point of it is we need to see it and then fix it. Right? Read what you got. And I will set my face against you. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. Like this. We were slain before our enemies in slavery. Read. They that hate you. They what? They that Hate you so reign over you. They are over you in society. They are the ones that sit in the high seats in, in Congress and in the uh, the governor's office and as the presidents. They make the laws. They own the land. They have the power to put you in the ghettos and them in the suburbs in the best places. They have the power to put Farm Fresh in your community and Kroger in their community. They that hate you, the same people you got to tell, Black Lives Matter rule over you. Right. And they hate you. But we've been told today, no, all these things are done, everybody's equal. Then why aren't white people living in the ghettos? Why don't white people have that grocery store in their communities? How come white people, Arab people, Chinese people own every store in our community, but we don't own no stores in their communities? Because they that hate you rule over you. And they hide it behind laws. They hide it behind teaching you in the Bible, God loves everybody, but God does not love everybody. Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30. I'm going to show you what's supposed to actually, Lamentations 2 and 14, then we're going to go to Deuteronomy 30, right? The point of it is, they taught you a foolish, bogus religion in Christianity that taught you that God is white, Jesus is white, God loves everybody, and everybody, the oppressed and the oppressor, are going to get heaven, and all they got to do is believe on Jesus. But when, when the true Christ comes back, the black Messiah, he's going to kill a lot of people. Right. Of his own people, because the Bible says two-thirds of the nation of Israel are going to die because black people are hard headed. I don't know if you know that or not, yeah. Yeah. but you can't tell a Negro anything. Yeah. Nothing. I, I'm grown. I do what I want. Who the hell are you talking to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't my mother. You ain't my dad. That's black people. Yeah. No other people talk like that. God calls them a rebellious people. And two thirds, meaning more than half, are going to die. Right. You can't tell them nothing. They cool with sleeping with whoever. They cool with being a baby mama. Cool with being a baby daddy. They cool with selling dope. They cool with doing dope. They cool with doing everything outside of the discipline that is required by God. Right. Right? So they taught you a foolish religion, and this is what they were supposed to do. Read. Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 14. Because the pastors are the priests, right? Read. Thy prophets 
have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Like the prophets are supposed to be the pastors of the church, right? They've seen vain and foolish things for you. Meaning they have not shown you this in the Bible. They have not taught you the laws of God. They have not told you that you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. They haven't told you any of those things. They've taught you white man Jesus and God loves everybody. Those are the vain and foolish things that they taught you. And none of those things are Bible. You will not find that image nowhere in the Bible. You will not find in the Bible that the Jews are Caucasian people. The right. Bible says that the Jews are dark-skinned people. Right. Black unto the ground. There's right. only one race of people I know that fit those things, and it ain't them. Right. Read. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. And they have not discovered your sins. They have not told our women, you are not supposed to wear pants. God hates you because you're wearing pants. They have not told our, our men, God hates you because you ain't working, you ain't taking care of your, your kids. God hates you because you land with that woman and you won't marry her. They have not told you. This is why you can go into church and sleep with everybody in the congregation and nobody does anything because you're paying your tithes. And then we wonder why so much evil is happening in the Christian church. Because they don't teach the Bible. They teach doctrines of men. Right. Like Deuteronomy 30. This is what's supposed to happen. When we grow up and when we start keeping the commandments of God, right? Men grow a beard. Women start wearing pants. Wear a nice, modest dress. In slavery, our women was wearing dresses. If you look at these pictures right here, the women were wearing dresses. Pants is a very new construct today. That was started by a white woman who was mad at her man and wanted some power. And guess what she used to get power? She used a black woman. She grabbed the, the black woman and said, hey, you oppressed like us. You should go against your man at the same time that the black man, her black man was getting chewed up by dogs and fire hoses sicked on him and beaten and hung from trees. She went to our women and said, your man is oppressing you. But how? No, your man is oppressing. My man, our women should have said, nah, 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 your man is the oppressor. My man is the oppressed. Matter of fact, me and my man both getting chewed up by dogs. Me and my man both getting fire hoses sicked on him. What you mean? Your, my man oppressing me. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, take that nonsense out of it. Your man is oppressing everybody. Jeez. You mad at your man, so now you want to use me right. to push your movement. And that's right. exactly what the white woman did. Right. She grabbed the black woman and said, come fight with me against your man who is fighting against my man. Jeez. And now today our, black, our, our households are more divided than ever because the white woman and her third wave feminism polluted the minds of our women. Right. Right. Now our men and the women, we can't get along. What has to happen is it started verse 1, 30 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. This is, what, this, is what, this is what's happening right now today. Because our people ain't taught this Bible. Not at all. We taught, walk up in there, I'm going to bang a tamarind, jump up and down. Then I'm going to pass that collection plate around once, maybe twice. Probably three times. Right? And I'm going to rob you. We all poor. We all live in the projects. I can barely pay my bills. But I'm going to go dump all of my money in the Christian church that ain't fixing the community. But pastor living good. Pastor family living good. But I'm broken. I'm poor. Read. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. So when we see that we are a cursed people, when we read in the Bible that the children of Israel were going to slavery on slave ships, when we read in the Bible that the Israelites will have their names changed and their identity taken from them, when we read in the Bible that our sons and our daughters will be taken from us and given to another people in slavery, when we read that in the Bible, it's supposed to make us think, hmm, what is this talking about? Why is this happening to just us and only us? Why does no other race of people say this is in fact their history? We hear all the time, everybody's going into slavery. Where's the proof? Where's the proof that the white man went into slavery? Right. Where's the proof that the Chinese man went into slavery? Right. Where's the proof that the so-called Arab man went into slavery? And why don't we see it as prevalent as we see our people going into slavery? Right. Because right. It, it don't exist. Right. It doesn't exist. It's just some feel-good thing that they tell you so that you don't remember and become angry with the stuff that these other people have done to you and you do something about it. Jeez. You stop listening to the lies and the nonsense that they tell you. You stop listening to the black man ain't no good. That's your man. Y'all both came over here as slaves. Right. They beat him worse than they, they, they raped you in front of him and they beat him to the point where within an inch of his life. Right in front of your, right in front of his baby's face. Right in front of his woman's face. They did that to your man. They did that to your woman. But what happens is when we buy the lies of the devil that the Bible speaks of, now we divide it. And that's how you conquer. That's why it's called divide and conquer. Now we live in the projects. We, we hate each other. We don't, I, we ain't marrying each other. We ain't raising our babies together. 
know what I'm saying? We got, we got the black manosphere and the, the red pill and the blue pill and all this stuff against each other because the Bible said we ain't being taught properly. Because the Bible says because we sinned against our God, he took himself away from us. Now we out here depending on evil people for what God says. When he, he lied and said that God looked like him. Don't, that's dead. That's dead skin right there. They, walk, they sit out in the sun too damn long, they're going to come back pink as hell. You come out in the sun, your skin going to glisten. It's going to be nice and oily. Sun don't kill you. Sun kills them. Right. Sun makes your hair grow and makes it thick and wonderful. Sun kills their hair. How is that God? How is God weaker than the so-called Negro that apparently God hates? Right. That doesn't make sense. Read what you got. Which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind. You will remember what God said, and thou shalt be cursed for breaking my laws. When you see these things come to pass. Read. Among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Right, because God scattered us all over the world via slavery. He said, when you see these curses on your people, it's going to cause you to remember that I said, way back during the time of Moses, if you break my laws, I'm going to put you into slavery, and I'm going to scatter you all over the world. And when that happens, you're going to remember it, and then you're going to change. Right. You're going to remember, you know what? This happened because I sinned against my father. And I need to stop sinning against my father. Right. Just like when you whoop your child's behind, it teaches them, no, I don't need to do that. Mama, lit my spine up. I need to not do that thing that my mama told me not to do. It's the same concept, just on a heavenly level. Read. And shall return. Or, shall what? And shall return unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. And shall obey. And shall what? And shall obey Read. his voice. And obey his commandments. Put on a dress. Grow a beard, man. You sleeping with a woman? Marry her. Right. You sleeping with that man? Marry him. Raise your babies together. Teach, teach your children this Bible. Teach them that when you read this Bible, it's about strong, powerful black people. Right. David, strong black man. Right. Christ, strong black man. Right. Solomon, strong black man. Right. Isaiah, Ezekiel, name one. All of them, strong, powerful black men. These men did not look like pasty devils that we read here. Right. They didn't look like that. They look like you and I. That's why we don't see nothing in each other because our heroes, our idols, have been told that they look like that. Right. When the Bible says the opposite. Read. And shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Read. Thou and thy children uh -huh. with all thine heart. Meaning with all your mind to the best. You ain't going to never do something as great as return back to the Lord. Right. If you was the best at your job, be the best at wearing a dress. Be the best at wearing your head cover when the scripts come out. Be the best at being submissive to your strong black man. And you see him trying to apply the laws of God and right. be a godly man. Because right. your man out here suffering. They out here dying at the rate of an endangered species. They got the women hating them. They got the white man hating them. They got the black man hating them. Everybody against your man. And the one person that's supposed to be in this corner is his woman. Right, right. The one person that's supposed to be in this corner is his woman. But how can that be if the world done told his woman to be against her man? Read. And with all thy soul. Read. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. That's how we get out of this situation. God said when we start applying what he commanded us, he's going to get us out of our captivity. We're in captivity right now. Right. This is a hell. We live in the projects. We work for minimum wage. We live in, what's this, uh, uh, what's, what's this place called? Uh, Southside Plaza. So, niggas get killed over here all day, every day. Right. Why we got to live like that? God said when we start applying his commandments, he's going to turn our captivity. He's going to save us from this because we need to be saved. Christian church talk about, I'm saved in the Holy Ghost field. How? You walk down the street looking like this, one of your own brothers will kill you. Right. What are you saved from? If you in the wrong place at the wrong time and then red and blue lights come on, you might not make it home. Right. What are you saved from? You might be subject to, you might lay down with a man, you might think he's a nice guy, he might be a fool, he leave you with a baby. What are you saved from? Right. Why do we go in church and talk about we saved and then we come back to hell? Right. That's nonsense, you're not saved. You're not saved. This is what it means to be saved. That when we apply God's commandments, God is going to turn our captivity. He's going to take us from trash to rulership. Right. From dust to kings and queens. From boys to men. From right. dirt to gods and goddesses on the planet. You aren't meant to die. You are meant to rule and live forever. Adam was a god and his woman was a goddess. And when they fell, we became men. 
agree. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity uh -huh. and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations. Uh -huh. And he's going to gather us from everywhere we've been scattered. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.